Notre Dame, the first win of the Marcus Freeman era. Notre Dame 24, Cal 17. Uh, the Hail Mary at the end was set up by a number of reversed reviews and all of this different. I mean, this game felt like it took ages. It was so long on this one. Just unbelievable. Uh, and yet, you know, still a prototypical Justin Wilcox game. He is now 13-1 and against the spread, his last 14 as, a, uh, as an underdog of a touchdown or more. That's that's crazy to think about. So they, they lose uh, by a touchdown here. But, man, uh, when you look at the actual stats on this, it, it's, I mean, it, it looked like two identical football teams. Like, if Marcus Freeman is going to be Justin Wilcox, you probably should just hire Justin Wilcox. Because uh, you got more experience that way, I guess. I don't know. Uh, four points. Well, no, I guess Marcus Freeman's a better recruiter at this at this point, I guess. Uh, look at how even these numbers are. 4.6 to 4.4 yards per play. 297 total yards to 296. Cal didn't have any turnovers. Notre Dame did. Um, third down tries. Like, Cal was better, but they were better by 26.67% to 25%. Like... <laughs> Uh, Notre Dame did finish their drives better than Cal did. Uh, they had four points per scoring opportunity uh, to only 2.83. Um, yeah, so 82 Atlantic says Cal plus 10 was almost in jeopardy when they called back Notre Dame's pick six in the end. Yes, uh, that's that's what I was talking about. The reviews and all that that were reversed and everything else. I mean, I, so I was on the group chat, the group text, whatever, with Kyle and Parker discussing this game because we all decided to take it uh, later on in the week, after the shows had already been done for the Bet U.S. College Football Show, and we all went with Cal based on everything that we had seen, right? And our group text lost it when they returned that because I told them before that drive, I said the only way that Notre Dame will score here is if Cal throws a pick six or if they fumble and it's like a scoop and score. That is the only way. That our cover loses. And show sure enough, it happened. Now, luckily, they said that Plummer was down, his knee was down, etc. But uh, but man, I was mortified at that because I had a I had a, a an amount of money that was significant to me on that game. I will say that. <laughs> uh looking at the actual uh game stats here. Drew Pine was not bad. 17 out of 23, 150 yards, two touchdowns. He was pretty efficient. Uh, no no massive plays or anything, but the fact that only six incompletions, I mean, that's not bad at all. Um, not a great runner, obviously. And looking at California, I mean, their strength, honestly, is only with the passing game. Like, they, they average 3.6 yards per rush. Um, but, man, Plummer, 16 out of 37 Passing for 184 and one touchdown. Uh, just crazy. Like, it, this was a fun game to watch. Notre Dame, I'm happy for them. They got that win. They get the monkey off the back uh, for Marcus Freeman. Like, it's now I think they can play a little bit easier. Uh, they don't have to play tight anymore. But, man, that Hail Mary at the end, I mean, that was almost, almost right there. We almost had us a tie ball game going to overtime. And thank God we didn't because I was so tired of watching that game. So, <laughs> I'm tired of watching that game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.